Conflict and Courage, February 16th, that last night, 2 Peter 2, verse 6, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. The flames that consume the cities of the plain shed their warning light down even to our time. We are taught the fearful and solemn lesson that while God's mercy bears long with the transgressor, there is a limit beyond which men may not go on in sin. When that limit is reached, then the offers of mercy are withdrawn and the ministration of judgment begins. The Redeemer of the world declares that there are greater sins than that for which Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed. Those who hear the gospel invitation calling sinners to repentance and heed it not are more guilty before God than were the dwellers in the vale of Siddim. And still greater sin is theirs who profess to know God and to keep his commandments, yet who deny Christ in their character and their daily life. In the light of the Savior's warning, the fate of Sodom is a solemn admonition to all who are trifling with heaven-sent light and privileges. The judgments of God are soon to be poured out upon the earth. Escape for thy life is the warning from the angels of God. Other voices are heard saying, do not become excited. There is no cause for special alarm. Those who are at ease in Zion cry peace and safety while heaven declares that swift destruction is about to come upon the transgressor. The young, the frivolous, the pleasure loving consider these warnings as idle tales and turn from them with a joke, with jest. Parents are inclined to think their children about right in the matter and all sleep on at ease. Thus it was at the destruction of the old world and when Sodom and Gomorrah were consumed by fire. On the night prior to their destruction, the cities of the plain rioted in pleasure. Lot was derided for his fears and warnings, just like Noah. But it was these scoffers that perished in the flames. That very night, the door of mercy was forever closed to the wicked, careless inhabitants of Sodom. The same voice that warned Lot to leave Sodom bids us come out from among them and be separate and touch not the unclean. Those who obey this warning will find a refuge. I hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.